Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your healing oasis shadow work reading. We're going to be diving into those hidden spaces, taking a look at the moon energy, 8th house, 12th house energy, um, the inner worlds, your inner source, um, and seeing what messages that inner space wants to communicate. You know, sometimes our ego energy can overpower our moon energy, um, and so we're giving that shadow um, an opportunity to share, to speak, to um, express um, in this reading. So we have various different divination tools today. We have our numerological dice, we have our astral dice, we have tarot, we have oracle, lots of different um, tools to um, help us connect with our shadow energy. Before we cast our dice, um, I would love to invite you to join the Kindred family here by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Click like on this video. It helps out my channel, of course, and I appreciate that. Uh, drop a comment down below if something resonates with you. Keeping in mind this is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate with you, go ahead and check your other placements, Sun, Moon, and Rising, focusing on Moon and Ascendant energy or sun, Moon and Rising energy. If you're interested in your own personal reading, you can connect with me on Etsy. Link is in the description below. I curate all kinds of content on my Etsy shop to assist you on your spiritual walk and journey. So go ahead and check that out if you're so moved to do that. All right, let's get into our shadow work reading for today. Oh. All right, so on the left side here, we have our moon energy. Are represented by the box that has the moon graphic in it and then we'll be casting our ego energy our sun energy on the opposite side again to see where there might be some connectivity maybe opposition or discord a disagreement within those um, energies so let's go ahead and cast Okay, so this is a very interesting, we have absolutely no overlap for you. So it appears at first glance that your, um, your sun and moon energy have completely different focuses and interests. We have fire energy on the inside with a Leo. And we have um, Taurus energy on the outside slow and steady we have uh, both fixed energies so there could be some stubbornness some over analysis and stubbornness there um, all right so let's start with our ego energy we have fixed earth energy um, so this would say, this would tell me that on the outside, slow and steady wins the race. There's an appearance here of steadiness, of earthiness, of groundedness even potentially, or materialism and laziness, um, wanting to reap the benefits of the world, that sort of thing, um, indulgence. We have our number zero, which talks about infinite possibilities. We have eight and seven. Our number eight talks about achievement. Seven talks about analysis and seeking the truth. This almost feels like, it's almost like maxing out your potential, like your worldly achievement potential. Trying to push that as far as possible. And then in our inner spaces, we have fixed in, uh, fire energy, creative, creative energy. We have two, three, and four. I think it's interesting to note the sequential 
um, the sequence here, that there is a sequence. Two talks about partnerships and collaborations. Three talks about social socializing. Um, four talks about stability. It feels like our inner spaces are more or desires more stability and groundedness specifically in partnership collaboration socialization like in our friendships and partners um, could also be saying you find stability in those spaces and places it looks like ego wants to venture out a little bit all right Let's get some more clarity on our, let's start with our moon energy. Oh no, never mind. Sorry, forgot our oracle. Okay. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What is our shadow's focus? Arwen, master of the great hunts, authority, hunt, natural balance. Master of the great hunt. Very Sagittarius, honestly. Queen of Swords. Five of Swords. Hmm. thing I'm noticing here is that your inner space is um, there's a coldness here with all of the sword energy there's a calculating difficult energy which isn't very you're a fire sign, so you're warm, you're excitable, you're passionate, you're freedom loving, you're optimistic, and you have like this cold, airy countenance about you. Defensive and argumentative. Maybe you got into a scuffle or a challenge with your um, friends, family, partner. Maybe there was some ego involved in that. Let's see what our ego has to say. The stars. Your ego is ready to be in alignment. Go out and seek the truth. You could have Aquarius in your chart, Libra. Ooh. The Knight of Pentacles, slow and steadily, uh, yeah. Slow and steadily um, making progress toward your truth. The tower is underlying I feel like your ego understands that there are going to need to be some big changes that happen here in order to find that, have that inner comfort, that inner satisfaction. Mm -hmm. 
ego feels very clear to me and in alignment to me. It feels like the inner spaces are all jumbled up. Let's get some messages on intentions here. Let's start with our moon space. Intentions or fears. Two more swords. Two of swords. You're in your head too much. There's too much mental... Uh, it's like you're jumping through a lot of mental hoops on the inside. A lot of defensiveness and... It's like defensiveness is covering up your Queen of Wands energy, like that fiery, um, the the nurturing and nourishing of your passion is being covered up by defensiveness. Um, playing your cards close. I mean, you have a lot of fire energy underlying, but so much air. Um, burden and overwhelm covering up that um, emperor energy. Lots of masks. Comfort is standing between that divine connection or divine counterpart. <sighs> All right, let's take a look at the intentions of our sun energy and then I'll put all of the puzzle pieces together. message that I just received is that your moon, your inner space, wants to feel like the master of the hunt, wants to feel like it has power and authority over the decisions in your life. Doesn't feel that way right now. That's what, the, that's what your inner spaces are trying to communicate, that it wants to feel this way. It wants to be the master, the authority. It's almost like it's being ignored, so. Yeah. yeah, that's the disconnect. It's like keeping the fire trapped. The fire is suppressed. It wants to be fire, it wants to. But. It doesn't have the freedom, the outlet. <sighs> King of Swords. Blocking. Oppression. Why? Why the King of Swords? Why the King of Swords? Why is ego blocking? Why is ego being hostile? Feels hostile. Why is ego blocking? Why is ego blocking? Why the king of swords? Five of swords. 
fear of vulnerability. Fear, fear of vulnerability. Fear. Mm. <laughs> fear of vulnerability. Fear of losing the battle. Mm, your ego is willful as heck. are showing up on both sides. Neither side wants to lose, and in that, both sides are actually losing. I'm going to shuffle out your advice here with our essential oil deck. We have a matching set. <laughs> we have the King of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords. They're both being supported by the Five of Swords. It's like two forces running in low vibration unwilling to bend, unwilling to compromise, unwilling to see the other's perspective or point of view. They both want to be the master. They both want to be the leader. But if you have two heads going in two different directions, you're going nowhere. It feels like the inner spaces is willing to come to the table. There's an openness here. We have no masks here. Our ego looks, you know, came up with the king of swords. Everything was kind of honky dory, living your best life, you know, because as the outwardly expressive energy, you, you are the head, you're the sun. So you get to basically do what you want and you dare the inner world to you know you dare those inner spaces to um, go against what you want you put that foot down you turn that cold shoulder to what they want and what they desire hmm Neither of you wants to lose, but both of you are losing because there's conflict, there's inner conflict. Let's see our advice. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, black pepper, uh, spice, okay. Popped on out of there. It's a solar plexus chakra energy. The lie that you've been telling yourself is that you're trapped. When in reality, you're whole. Oh my gosh, this couldn't be more in alignment with your message. I swear these little central oil messages have been on point. Integration. Stop leading from a place of fear. Stop trying to be a dictator basically you're not trapped you're whole literally king of swords the queen of swords two mature energies of the same suit opposite genders obviously you're a matching set your inner world and your outer world are a matching set it is only together oh my gosh this is where the message is coming oh hold up Okay, sorry I had a church moment. Um, it is only together 
that the truth will come, will link up, will integrate. Ego is turning, they're turning their back to the inner spaces. They're plugging their ears and acting like they don't hear them. I don't see, la, 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 la. I'm out here, I'm searching for my truth. I'm looking for my star. I'm doing all these sorts of things. I'm achieving and I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm searching for the truth. The truth is inside, baby. It's inside. Literally. <laughs> it's inside of you. That divine counterpart, the other half to your whole is within you. Stop looking outside. You're not going to find it. You might have been searching for a minute, though. You might have been slow and steady wins the way, wins the race, you know, traveling all around the world, doing that Sagittarius thing, you know, shooting for the stars, trying to look everywhere for the answer except where it actually lives, which is inside of yourself. Solar plexus chakral energy, the light from within. Explore your inner spaces. This freedom, achievement, exploration, truth seeking, turn all of that energy inside. And you'll find that star. This coldness, this game of fear and, you know, I want to do things my way. Mm -mm. If you're truly seeking your truth, your path, your star, you, you have to soften yourself up, open yourself up and listen. Listen. That solar plexus chakra, that gut energy. What is it telling you? Shadow desperately wants a partnership. A stable partnership with its divine counterpart, which is ego. It's open, masks off, ready for conversation, negotiation. Ego has to get there. You don't have to do it all your own, ego. You don't have to do it all, of your, all on your own. If you were meant to do it all on your own, you wouldn't have an inner world. You would just have an outer world. But you are meant to integrate these two. I know that might be uncomfortable for you, Sagittarius, because you're that outwardly expressive, fiery energy. You want to go out there. You want to do it. You want to do it. Show it all into the world. You want to do it all. It's out there. It's, it has to be out there. Take all of that and turn it inward. It's not out there. It's inside. It's in there. There's a lot of stubbornness. I'm happy that the I'm happy that the shadow energy though is that grounded energy. There's a warmness, a charming, charismatic sort of energy on this side. <laughs> There's a stubborn, dry, like my way or the highway on the ego side, and that is where the disconnect is. I love this message, and it all came together so beautifully. My beautiful soul, these are the messages I have channeled for you today. I certainly hope this was helpful for you. Um, I would even say that you know, there's more work to be done, I feel like, in order to integrate these energies. Um, but you can do it. You can do it. And um, yeah. So thank you so much for your time, you beautiful energy. Um, please do click like on this video, subscribe if we're not connected, and I'll see you in an upcoming message. Bye-bye now.